How's it going guys and welcome back to the Fault Tech YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be nuking my shield. Yes, I'm going to wipe my shield clean, get it up to the latest version, and I'm going to see about installing new apps, third-party apps. Um, I had a comment and it kind of intrigued me. So I wanted to give this a try and see uh, what the trouble is and make sure we get it working. I know developer options is here and we have um, unknown sources and security and restrictions here. But I noticed that there's no way you can turn it on without having to do this. So today's video is gonna be about me wiping my shield and installing all of my apps that I want to install. Hopefully those who have questions, I forget, I forget your name, I apologize. Um, but hopefully this will clear that up and allow you to be able to install apps on your shield and enjoy it like everyone else is so without further ado goodbye shield now before I do this I might as well go ahead and break my shield uh, so let's go to you guys are witnessing this as I do it RIP let's go ahead and erase format now this may take a minute I probably shouldn't have done this I am going to regret this no doubt <laughs> but I didn't have anything that I wouldn't want erased on here honestly and uh, I'm going to be installing everything from scratch so I'll see you guys in a moment when this is done I have returned alrighty so the WD USB drive is for is empty there's nothing on that so this hurts this hurts. Oh, no, no. It's done. Nope, not anything. I oh, haven't said your thoughts. Do it anyways. There we go. This is going to be probably my 20th time doing this. Uh, but it's all in good fun, and I'm helping you guys out. So, so that's all that matters. All right, guys, that's completed. I wiped it, made it in internal storage. And here you can see the default items here. All right, guys, so our next step is to get File ES Explorer on here. We're doing this so we can get third-party apps installed. So I'm going to find that here. All right, guys, and there's ES Explorer right there. I'm going to click that. Install. Accept. We're going to let this guy download and install. And then from here, we're going to start installing our third-party apps as well as my um, the side load channel as well. I'll see you guys in a moment once it's done. It may take a minute. All right, guys, I got side load channel downloading as well. If you don't have this, I do recommend it. I have a tutorial. I'll link it here above me or above the video. Um, it is $1.49, at least the last time I checked. It was 99 cents a few months ago, so I don't know if the price has went up again. But when I bought it, it was $1.49. It's well worth it. And I'll show um, you the final product once we get to that point. But right now, we're just waiting on ES Explorer to finish downloading. And then we'll jump right in. So after you open up ES Explorer, you want to head down to Yahoo. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type, type in Droid Admin. And hit Enter. Click on, make sure you're on web. So I must have clicked the uh, news by accident. All right, I'm going to choose this Droid Admin here. All 
All right. So I'm going to scroll down, download file link, which is the new name that Droid Admin goes by. Let it download here. It may take a minute. All right, guys. So after you click that, it'll download here. You want to click open file, install. This time only. Really, this doesn't matter. You can click any here. I'm going to check that. Actually, I'm going to do always. Now, you will need to allow this, and it'll automatically pop up for you. So, you're going to click that. Hit the um, back button or the escape. You may have to reinstall this or go back to the downloads. So I'm going to go back to my downloads here. On the left. Download. Click that. Install. Install. Alright guys, so you see turn on play protect. So um, this is to protect you and your device. I don't know if it's going to trigger file link as potential, uh, a potential issue, but I'm going to choose accept anyways. All right, so I'm going to click open. All righty, so here it says, please enter a valid file link code. All right, guys, I have my uh, file link up, so I'm going to type in my code. 904. Three, zero, eight, five, two. That's not a five. Five, two. I'm going to hit next, continue. All right, and here's my disclaimer for uh, the uh, App Store. I'm going to choose dismiss. Alrighty, so what you're looking at now is my apps I currently have in my app store. If you if you see this uh, free file link newsletter, go ahead and dismiss that. And I'm going to go ahead and install all of these. Aptoid is a really good uh, thing to install. It will allow me to grab all the other apps I want to grab, such as Google Chrome and things like that. And as you can see, you can see my download bar there going over. So I'm not going to bore you with these this part, guys. I'm going to go ahead and install all of my apps that I want to install. And I will uh, see you all in a moment. All right, guys, and as before, I clicked on uh, one of the apps to play, and it told me that I had to enable an unknown sources. So all I have to do is come over here and click this box here, and then go back to my original location and start installing the apps. So I'm going to do that now, and I'll see you back in a moment. All right, guys, so I've installed a few apps. I installed Mobdro, Terrium TV, Aptoid, as well as Showbox. Now, um... I don't see those two listed here. That's completely normal and nothing to worry about. Um, if you make the purchase of the sideload channel, you'll better see all your apps in there. There's also a free app. All right, so this is what I was mentioning before. If you have installed apps and you don't want to make the purchase of the sideload channel, this sideload launcher is free. Install this and you'll see all of your third party apps inside this location. So what I'm going to do next is set up my side load channel. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a folder or a uh, icon here and just call it third party apps or something, something simple. So let me do that now. Uh, let's see, let's go down to apps. Change channel name. And guys, if you want a more in depth um, 
explanation of this. I go through a full tutorial and a video I linked earlier. I also link it again just so you'll see that. So um, just click there if you want to watch a full tutorial of this. Okay, so uh, let me get the typing correct. Third party apps. All right, done. Go down to OK, click OK. Click this plus sign, click add application, square. And here, I'm just gonna add all of my third party apps here. Click add, square, file link. Honestly, you can remove file link unless you plan on using more codes. Um, I probably will leave it on for now. I will be going back through this and set it up the way I had it before. This is just to show you guys a quick tutorial of how to do this. Alrighty, so what do we got? Show box. Alright, quick add. And Terrarium TV. That should be all that I want to add right now. Just verify. Yep. Oh yeah, don't forget to save. So come over here and click the save button. Add. I could, I could also change the icons as well. So what I'm going to do now, scroll down, it's right there. And you just click on what you want to do here, such as ter Terrarium TV. Click OK. Allow, allow, allow. And update one thing to note guys if you download apps from my app store um, they are quite old I haven't updated the repository so you will need to update each one of them um, so Mobdro, IPTV, Terrarium TV, Showbots so you will need to be you will be updating all those um, but other than that you guys are good to go so uh, yeah, uh, that's all there is to it. I In this video, you saw me completely wipe my shield, and then I add all of my third-party apps back in it using FileLink or Droid Admin. Um, I also made it, I also explained how you can see the apps if you don't see them on the apps, App Store or in your application using the Sideload Launcher or Sideload Channel. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to end the video here if you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave me a message, a comment, and I will do what I can to explain how that works. If I have the time, this is something that I was planning on doing. It lined up with my goals. Thank you for the comment. And yeah, that's all there is to it, guys. Stay tuned for more information and more videos. I'm going to end this one here now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.